Hey YouTubers, and today we're back with another Dragon Ball Super discussion video. Now this one's a little bit weird, honestly. Just something I kind of wanted to put up on my channel. A lot of people have been watching the Goten Black video that MJ and I did. By the way, say hello, MJ. Hello. Hello. I, I'm really glad that you didn't actually interrupt me this time and we could actually have like a normal start. But anyway, like a lot of people have been re-watching the, uh, or I guess discovering for once the uh, Go Ten Black video that you and I did a couple of weeks back. And honestly, like I feel like it's really interesting because I'm getting a lot of different, uh, I guess, comments about whether or not Gohan would probably have been a better idea for that, not Goten. Goten's a bad idea. We're stupid. Yada, yada, yada. And it's kind of to address that. And if for anyone who's actually interested, to probably get a little bit more of a I guess straightforward answer of why Gohan was probably a better idea, at least in the way that Super handled it. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description section below. MJ did a really good video about that a couple months back where he kind of broke it down and why he thought it was really good and everything. But even after watching that, even after doing everything in order to like kind of see where you guys are coming from, I don't necessarily understand it. And that's why I brought MJ on here today. Uh, me personally, Goten fanboy that I am, I honestly, I just, I can't see why Gohan is a better example. So MJ, I wanted you to kind of just sit down with me and tell me why you think it's a better idea, at least in a certain other way of handling it. Uh, that's probably a little bit more akin to the way that they actually tried to handle it in Super and not like, you know, kind of throwing a lot out of the like throwing a lot out like you and I did and just kind of starting from scratch, which, uh, you know, is one of the reasons that everyone didn't necessarily like that. I, I guess a lot of people had problems with how we approach that. So anyway, uh, just tell me and I guess anyone who's listening who hasn't necessarily watched your video or don't doesn't necessarily agree why you think Gohan Black probably was a better, uh, you know, overall pick. Okay, so let me get this straight. I wrote a script, <laughs> edited a video... Added the panels, the pictures, everything. Went the whole nine yards. And if that couldn't convince you, how the fuck do you expect me to convince you on this video right now? Because <laughs> you're talking to me because I can ask you questions. Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. Okay, well, the first thing we got to do is what's different between the Goten video and the Gohan video is what that in the Goten video, we went from the idea that it is Dragon Ball Super's trunks, that trunks from the future, the trunks that we're watching right now currently. Mm -hmm. I think that's what they should have did, and it probably would have been overall, I think, a better way to go for the overall future, future trunks arc, you know, that's what it's called, instead of bringing back the history of trunks or the history of uh, future trunks, whatever it's bullshit. That was a bit too much. It's a bit fan servicey. I didn't really like that. I, it's weird, but if we handle it the way Super did, and we just say that trunks comes back, right? And it's the history of trunks, trunks. <laughs> <laughs> if that trunks comes back, then I think Gohan, in my opinion, this is what I brought up in the video. I think it could work in this sense. Now, here's one thing that I want to establish in the previous arc or in the previous i guess main uh toriyama arc which was uh the rof arc gohan that was the last arc that gohan was actually in you know what i mean gohan wasn't in the universe six versus universe seven tournament arc right mm -hmm. in that arc gohan was depicted as being weak so i just want that to stay in everyone's head gohan is weak in that arc supposedly from you know toriyama and from toei he's depicted as being weaker there's many different videos out there actually covering that he's not that weak but for the sake of this video we're just going with the plot point that he was depicted <laughs> as being weaker so he's depicted as being weaker we move on to um this feature trunks arc gohan has been almost non-existent especially in the dragon ball super manga different continuity he's not even in the manga base i think toriyotaro has drawn him like once or twice he's that non-existent <laughs> he's he's that non-existent we hardly ever see him and i'm pretty sure that tears gabby's heart out <laughs> we hardly <laughs> we hardly you ever think how what do I think about Goten, man? Like, I you can't get any respect in this show. <laughs> Getting, like, from your favorite characters. They just forget about everyone. Unless your favorite character is Goku. Is Goku. Or Vegeta. Or Vegeta. Or Vegeta. You're just, you're done. You're, you're done. done. But anyways, uh, the point is, is that if we say everything went down the same way, right? Let's say um, Trunks comes back. 
uh, we find out that uh, Trunks has been fighting this entity known as Black, and then he drops the bombshell, what we call him Gohan Black. You know what I mean? Everyone's like, huh? But Gohan's not there. You know, everyone's like, oh, what, the, what the hell? Why do you call him Gohan Black? And that's when Trunks drops the bombshell, he's your son, right? Well, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you skip to episode uh, 50. That's when uh, Gohan comes forward. He fights Goku. Everyone's freaking out. You know, and it's funny because... It's going to be kind of weird that Gohan, this Gohan, that's current timeline one, is not going to be involved in this little scuffle. But he will be involved in the next coming episode where Trunks comes in and actually goes and sees him. That's the part that I'm tying in here. The fact that Gohan has been so non-existent in Super, I think that just tells a beautiful story that he would actually be one of the main villains or the main villain of this feature trunks arc you know what i mean it's the fact mm-hmm. that he's been so non-existent and everyone's not expecting it because everyone's expecting goku to be the main villain of this arc because it's someone taking over a saiyan bodies so everyone expects it to be goku and not so much vegeta because we already got the whole majin vegeta and copy vegeta if not mm-hmm. goku and vegeta who else is there well there's gohan now there is goten and trunks but if you look at it from the story point of view that after gohan black left and then you know with just like oh his key reminded me of Zamasu's they go and fight Zamasu present Zamasu Goku does a sparring session Goku beats his ass in Super Saiyan 2 they leave now you skip forward just let this like let that sink into you real quick let him think that you know he's he just got beat by a mortal you know that whole thing sinks in and then he sees that Goku's fighting head he sees that a mortal or a Saiyan is using um god key or he's wrapped himself in godly key now that's when he makes the plan to go talk to zuno and this is where i kind of feel like if this doesn't happen here then my whole idea falls apart i feel like he would learn from, <laughs> he would learn about gohan from zuno i feel like he would learn about gohan he would learn about goten he would learn about what everything he said tell me everything about son goku you know what i mean i'm pretty sure one of the biggest things would be the fact that goku has two siblings who are saiyans keep that in mind have saiyans so Again, if if I could just if I could jump just in, jump in, in, jump like, in. Hey, yeah, like if I could just jump in, it's like that's the one thing. Like, if anything, what Zamasu actually did, and from what we've seen, and kind of keeping with continuity and everything, the most compelling thing I I hear about there, uh, when you consider why he decided to take Gohan's body or even Goten's body to you know just kind of make it the same, is. Uh, by going to see Zuno, by seeing kind of the progression or watching the entirety of the story, as we talked about with the, uh, you know, kind of making it a plot point that he's using GodTube to watch basically all the Dragon Ball story uh, and that kind of alternate narrative we just we came up with, he he kind of gets with Zuno, he gets the idea or understanding through all of this that the the half Saiyans are the strong ones and that kind of keeps with the continuity from the original so it it makes sense to Zuno and not to to go take a half breed instead of a, a another like a full Saiyan breed like Goku and then maybe his Zenkais especially with Gohan's um especially with Gohan's I guess lack of Zenkais, which I have my own theories about why why he got so little Zenkais, but maybe since Gohan hasn't basically pushed his body to that extent, I guess, you know, give or take your opinion on whether or not that's true or not, uh, that's kind of one of the things I was thinking is maybe uh, because Gohan hadn't utilized those, then his Zenkais as he grows up or even quicker when he, uh, Black takes over his body would start to make a little more sense. But that is the only reason I would understand him actually taking Gohan's body. Uh, I, for the most part, I feel like if you're trying to stay as close to the story as possible, it's not compelling to me that he goes to Zu- he goes to Zuno. Zuno's like, well, you know, there's these app breeds and blah, blah, blah. And he's like, yeah, you know what? Screw Goku. Like, everything about Zamasu's character was geared towards Goku and the way they portrayed it and why they picked the timeline they did and everything else instead of using, you know, the super timeline, which, as we both said, would probably make a little bit more sense, but working with what we got. Yeah, he's uh, working with what he got, but I like to cut in real quick. Is that see, this is why, okay, I get your point now. See, we're going to be back and forth here. This might cause an argument. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways uh, but anyways uh guys comment down below who do you like more go tim black or gohan black so who, yeah, whose side hashtag, are you on are you on real real side or are you on my side that's just hashtag hashtag it up guys hashtag go tim black hashtag 
Gohan Black. But anyways, the point was going to be is that if he were to take Goten or Gohan's body, you know what I mean? It would be the idea that Zamasu is conniving, you know what I mean? He is evil, he is, oh, well, let's just say he's pure. <laughs> <laughs> he's pure, he's, pure, he's pure. pure, and he knows what he's doing is right, that's what he thinks he's doing is right, that's why he came up with those plans, those were his plans, executed the zero mortal plans, so I feel like if he really wanted to do it, and to stick it to humanity, or stick it to the mortals, and specifically Goku, especially in the version of the anime where Goku beat him up, you know what I mean, to stick it mm. to Goku, he would take his son's body like Goten or Gohan, you know what I mean, in order to kind of just like stick it in his ass. Stick it, <laughs> stick it in his what? You finished that line. No, no, just just to stick it to him. You know what I mean? Stick it to him and just kind of like just drive the nail in the coffin that he's gonna make his son or sons, you know, whichever one he pick, you know, go to black or Gohan black. But I would assume Gohan since he's the adult, you know, a more adult version of the hybrid that he would pick Gohan and make him the poster boy. And I think it's kind of, I think that's a cool. St- point of view because it's like Gohan has been so non-existent and he's always been this person who does not like to fight but then or at least that's what they try to tell us and then uh Zamasu goes and takes him and makes him this poster boy where he goes and destroys civilizations and he goes into fights you know what I mean like he like becomes this I guess monster and it's kind of because of Goku it's Goku's naiveness and his I guess this what's a good way to put it? I think I put it in my video. It's Goku's naiveness that turns his son into a monster. You know what I mean? Or turn, like, it's because he was just so insistent on fighting as a monster. He's so insistent on constantly raising his fist to the gods. So insistent on constantly rising in power while Go- Gohan's just trying to live his life. And Goten, too, if you want to, like, take Goten or Trunks. Goku's, they're just living their lives, bro. Like, Goten's just chilling with Trunks. They're just going to school. Trunks is going to school. They're just chilling, you know, Gohan's raising his family. It's so fucked up that Gohan uh, gets his life completely ruined and he gets his body taken and stolen because of Goku's naiveness. And that was like, like I think the crunch of my video was that. You know, what I, mean? I think that was like a beautiful point. And the point of him going around fighting the gods as he gets Zenkai's and like getting stronger and kind of working his way up getting that power up kind of fits with Gohan being weak, you know what I mean? Like, he took the weak Gohan and then made him into this monster, you know what I mean? Made him into this brutal force, and it's kind of going to be scary that if he does have this godly transformation that he uses against his father in these upcoming battles, you know what I mean? And also, the nail in the coffin, or I mean, the icing on the cake is the fact that Trunks. I mean, there's a whole story there. Trunks, every time, he would have even more PTSD if it was Gohan Black, you know what I mean? <laughs> it was like, mm-hmm. that's, at least that's for me. I mean, you can disagree with me, but uh, that, at least that's what I think. No, no, I, I understand where you're coming from with this. I I just have, I have two kind of thoughts when it comes to, first of all, I want to kind of say something that I feel like would be really kind of emotional, even, me, even more emotionally impactful than uh, stuff I've already argued in other videos uh, in the past about whether or not, like, what are the most emotional scenes that we've seen in all of Super, I, I kind of put, like, right up at the top. Uh, I really like the god ritual, but right up at the top, I think, is Black killing Chi-Chi and Goten. Uh, dark. Uh, I think dark. Uh, you know, you get the, you hear the, the scream. Uh, you hear the screams. You hear, like, they basically change their perspective. The first time they've ever really done that. It doesn't get cinematic. It doesn't do anything. It basically goes to bare bones animation like basically just uh you know just panels not even like animated not color not nothing and you're sitting there going oh man like that's different i don't think i've ever seen anything like that in all of dragon ball but only for that scene they cut away and you hear the scream and all that stuff a lot of people would say death of bulma uh i guess you could get that one way or the other it might be i mean i feel like you do kind of lose if you if you talk about if you're trying to keep it in the super continuity, trying to use the future chunks that we know of, you do lose that kind of impact of black killing Bulma. And you have like, okay, well, yes, Gohan and Bulma did have kind of a togetherness. I'm pretty they sure they have fucked. kind of a bomb. Yeah, I mean, like, I'm that's, pretty sure that's did. always... <laughs> Okay, I'm trying to keep it. I'm trying to keep it PG, but okay, yeah, uh, yeah, it's 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 absolutely possible. I feel like that's a what if. Um... That's a what if video for later, but I. But okay, but moving like, back uh, to the go Tim part, I'm no, 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 I want to, I want to, I want to actually. Uh, I, I got a little off topic, but <laughs> the, the point, the point is, is like, okay, so yeah, I understand when you when you kind of put it in perspective of 
look, this is what Goku does. He constantly challenges the gods, constantly puts himself in this situation. And then basically Zamasu kind of gets an animosity towards him and decides to screw him over. Perfectly acceptable. I think it could work either way with Goten or Gohan. Yeah. But Gohan makes a lot more sense. Uh, getting back to the saddest scenes, you basically take the whole Chi Chi and Goten thing and you and you flip it on its head and have him kill uh, Videl and Pan. Far more emotionally impactful considering the Battle of Gods arc and everything. That would have been phenomenal. Uh, way darker than Dragon Ball had ever gone. I feel like if they had shown that, uh, even if the same the same art style and everything just change out the characters uh the fan base would have been heartbroken but um like i said you kind of get the same it doesn't have to be gohan or goten it could be one or either and you still get the same effect but at the same time uh kind of putting goten in or putting gohan in the centerpiece of all this despite his relationship with trunks but despite zamasu's uh hatred towards goku you have this inevitable situation where one of the main selling points, one of the main concepts of this entire arc or that entire arc was the fact that Trunks brought this upon himself by doing what he did. And I feel like taking away Black's identity as Goku takes away that entire, like uh, takes a lot of oomph out of that entire development or that entire plot point, which was, the the main plot point basically uh we had to go more about go in more on that so i yeah like i i for, i feel like so you know the whole concept is like well trunks you did this like trunks went back in time to save goku because he thought it would save his future ah uh, okay and the only reason goku was still alive for zamasu to be challenged for zamasu to even steal goku's body and all of this other stuff was because trunks was a dick who tried to actually save his future not that gohan died not that any of these other people died and if you're trying to keep with the history of trunks arc that is a main plot point that you really can't ignore it's the most it's the most uh, impactful thing about that arc is because Trunks tried to meddle with the past, he created an even darker future for himself. And that was Zamasu's kind of, you know, I hate mortals, but this is kind of why I've been, you know, kind of dicking you around this whole time is because I hate you. Now, given it was kind of thrown in there at the very end, kind of going like, oh, okay, that's, where he's, that's why he's there. And it was kind of, in my opinion, it kind of swept it under the rug really quickly. I thought it was way more compelling than they made it out to be. But I do believe that if you take Gohan... And you take him out of the equation, while you do get a little bit more of an emotional connection from Trunks, while you do get a little bit emotional connection in terms of, you know, fatal scenes that we could see, while you do get that connection between, like, you know what, you kind of see the correlation between this arc and the, you know, the, 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 you know, polar opposite arcs of how Gohan and Goku's relationship are in terms of this arc versus how they were during the Android and Cell arcs, uh, you still just lose that connective tissue that brought it all together. And I think that's the main point I have with this just not working. Well, I'll counter that real quick because this goes against with Goten and Gohan as well because the whole point of Goku, I get your point on that, but at the same time though, when you, there's something symbolic about for 13 years, Gohan was the, or future Gohan was the only... Z warrior left, if that's what you want to call them, the dragon warriors, I guess, that was left to protect that world, right? Specifically the future Trunks timeline or the future Trunks world, right? There's something symbolic about present Gohan ending up coming back and being the one who's trying to destroy it, you know what I mean? And then mm -hmm. you go and that last scene, which is really out of place, to me it would only make sense if Gohan Black was in this arc, is that, well I guess not too much, but I think I just feel like it probably would have had more impact is when that very ending scene when Mai and Trunks are leaving, is that when he sees Gohan, you know, the present Gohan, and he tells them, I'm sorry, he starts crying, I couldn't protect the world, you know what I mean? Because people need to remember, Zeno blew that shit up. <laughs> <laughs> the afterlife is gone, everybody is gone, There's, they can't come back, you know what I mean? Like, everybody's gone, even the souls, the check-in station, all that's gone, Zeno blew up everything, so... Like, Trunks lost, they ultimately lost. Even if Mai and Trunks go back and hang out with that version of the timeline of those people... 
those aren't the people they had memories with. Those aren't the people that stood with them on the battle lines, you know what I mean, to fight Zamasu. Mm-hmm. They're not going to have the memories that Trunks and Mai have, you know? So mm-hmm. it's like all those people are gone. So, again, to me, I just feel like it could probably still work because when you go back, especially if they're trying to incorporate that whole history of Trunks' timeline because they freaking even animated, they reanimated the whole Gohan dying scene at the future Gohan, there is still that connective glue there that if trunks and gohan for 13 years trying to protect the world against the cyborgs and then now present gohan as a monster took over he's now now they're destroying it you know what i mean it's to me that that's pretty cool in my opinion no i i i understand that i understand that i just like i said like i, I think i've voiced my opinions here i would really really like to hear all the people who've listened to this i, I feel like it's been a rather fascinating conversation honestly because i'm, I'm right completely <laughs> yeah, I know I know you feel like you're right, but I think I'm right. And just before we get out of here, before I do want to make it clear if you haven't watched either of our videos, I'll, put, I'll leave them in the description section below after this video. Uh, you can go check out either one or check out both of them. I think both of us made some really good points in terms of how to structure our story, but just so I'll throw mine out there just right now, uh, just really quickly, uh, so people understand where you're coming from, where I'm coming from. Uh, in terms of making it go 10 i agree that you cannot actually have it take place in the future trunks's arc or history timeline you know all the uh, history of chunks timeline but at the same time uh, by doing by kind of wiping the slate clean and having something like super trunks the S- trunks in super and goten who grew up together and then eventually comes back uh, they come back and get into this scuffle and in a timeline that might be desolate, but still has, or at least had, Bra, Pan, U, Vegeta, Gohan, all these other people, uh, and Trunks go back, and Goten basically be in the future ready to, you know, kick some ass as Zamasu, you have this, t- you have this connection that, you know, one of the things they made very clear in the Fukatsu no F arc is nobody told Trunks and Goten or anybody, like any of the kids who were born because of that, born because of that. Trunks and Marin were born because of that. Or, or Go, Goten and Marin. I mean, Goten and Marin, which would make a really kind of interesting uh, plot point or kind of counterbalance to Trunks and Mai. But um, you have Trunks and Marin who were born because of that. And then you have Goten and Trunks who don't know about any of that kind of laughing about it. And it's kind of a nice foreshadowing of no one tells them about it. Eventually, Trunks goes back using the time machine that uh, Bulma stole from the original Trunks, or, you know, Cell's time machine. And throughout the arc, no one tells him he's broken up. And then that, that like, that pin needle, like, ironic reveal where uh, Goten Black basically drops the bombshells. Like, look, we're destined. Like, like, you in particular, it doesn't matter who you are, what timeline you're from, or anything... You are destined to repeat this endless cycle of tr- of like of being the f- sole survivor or the sole savior of like whatever desolate future that you're in, and go back in time and how emotionally devastating that would be, especially having to fight your best friend growing up and all this other stuff. Considering the fact that this was all set in motion by the particular events in Z, and at the same time, um, kind of built up to this point between them uh, almost destiny as it were while keeping with the time timeline related issues or at least consistent with that of z so that's kind of where i'm at uh we went far more in depth with it in the uh the video that we did uh like like mj said he he wrote a script and everything went far more in depth about his his version and everything so i i i encourage you to go check that stuff out if y'all like but this has been a very interesting conversation i hope you've enjoyed it uh mj do you have any other thoughts or any other uh points you want to make about goten black or or gohan black gohan black would be cool goten black would suck (laughs) (laughs) you heard him man you heard him those are fighting words okay guys uh like i said like we said uh comment in the comment section below hashtag goten black if you agree with me hashtag gohan black if you agree with mj uh let it be known and any other thoughts you'll have about what we've said or anything like that we're gonna catch you on the next video please make sure to go check out mj make some awesome content for you the ones that i've already kind of talked about in this video plus every other day or like every day i mean every day content great dragon ball stuff please anime sure stuff show support anime stuff okay whatever <laughs> when you start posting anime stuff 
I'll start. I have I'll posted anime saying. stuff. I've been doing Hunter Hunter <laughs> videos. <laughs> when I see it, I'll believe it. I'll just Bitch. say it. Just say it. <laughs> anyway, guys. Anyway, guys. We're going to catch y'all in the next video.